Now that Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar is dead, some think it's a good time to revise ceasefire talks. Gary Lane has that story and more from our CBN newsroom. Gary? Gordon, the U.S. Secretary of State met with Israeli leaders in Tel Aviv today. While some see an opportune time to pursue peace, Hamas is still demanding Israel withdraw its forces from Gaza. CBN's Julie Stahl reports. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is back in the Middle East for the 11th time since the war began, trying to revive ceasefire talks to free the hostages and end the Gaza war. He may have come at an opportune time, since IDF soldiers killed Hamas leader Yehye Sinwar last week. Talk of deals is active again. The death of Sinwar does create an important opportunity to bring the hostages home, to bring the war to an end, and to ensure Israel's security. The head of the Mossad, Israel's largest intelligence agency, is talking up a comprehensive deal that would end the fighting with Hamas in Gaza, as well as the war with Hezbollah, and free all the hostages. Israel is also considering a smaller deal Egypt is proposing that would free several hostages now in exchange for a two-week ceasefire in Gaza. Meanwhile, Israel is planning its retaliatory strike on Iran after the Islamic nation attacked with 180 ballistic missiles. Hezbollah's recent strike on Benjamin Netanyahu's home is adding to the urgency. Their attacks with drones, missiles, rockets, their attack on the private home of the prime minister, it's all part of a major campaign, which at the end of it all is led and commanded in Tehran. Israel is now confirming that it eliminated Hashem Safiyadin, the Hezbollah official expected to lead the terror group after Hassan Nasrallah's death. The IDF is still taking out Hezbollah targets in Lebanon, which are placed deep within the civilian population. Stunning images show an Israeli missile falling down the side of a building in Beirut before it explodes, bringing the entire structure down. Across Israel, as people are winding up the biblical fall holidays this week, many are remembering the horror of the Hamas attacks just over a year ago and the hostages still in Gaza. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem. What makes Israel so special? How has Israel overcome history's greatest challenges to not just survive but thrive? CBN Films answers all of these questions in the new movie, The Genius of Israel. This movie explores Israel's journey through adversity, unity, and innovation. If you want to check out more, go to the link in the description to stream the film today.